Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order, folks. Ah, this is why you do things. It's so much fun to go back to John Jackson Miller's Kenobi. Oh my goodness, I loved it the first time. I love it more even the second time. It is a western meets sci-fi, and it's perfect. You know exactly what it is. Doesn't pretend to be anything else from the very beginning. Uh, when you hear about Anna Lynn or Annie. Uh, out on out on the frontier, the wild Jutland waste of Tatooine, fending off sand people. Uh, Oren is the farmer, and they argue a lot. Their neighbors, uh, her ex, oh well, de deceased husband Danner, was best friends with Oren, and Oren's wife left him soon after Dana, da Danner and Annie got married. And if it wasn't for that, Oren may have been married to Annie. So there's this like maybe. A little bit of a romance we're hinted at here between the two, but it's not official. You have the evil leader of the Sand People, Plugai. Um, she is called something different. That's right, it's a she. I totally forgot about that. That's one of the big reveals midway through the book. And uh, she's great. She's great. She's uh, she knows who Sherrod Het was. She under Kenobi can kind of talk to her, and they kind of have that. Uh, Thing, thing in common, that's how he's going to work things out between the, the uh, farmers and the uh, raider, uh, the Tuscan raiders. And Oren has this group called, uh, well, he has this associate union, I guess, I don't know what it is. The Call is what it is, and the Settler's Call. When any settler is attacked by raiders, they push the button and everyone, you know, the whole community bands together as an army and fends off the Tuscan raiders and goes chasing after them. Everyone has to pay dues uh, to be, or, in order to be protected. And it turns out that Orin is running a racket scheme. You see, ever since Anakin slaughtered the younglings, the women, everyone, the Tusken Raiders have been skittish on making any raids whatsoever. Well, that hurt Orin, who, was, who had this thing going about the call. And he needed the money because, of course, he's robbing from the, the pot here. He's robbing from the organization to pay Jabba back. He, he tried to invest in some evaporators that make this special water, but he can never get it right, so he kept getting in more and more debt. He got in with Jabba, and so now he needs the call, and he, it's basically just a racket just to get money to funnel it to pay Jabba every month, because he's struggling. And now Jabba's asking for the full amount now, so he didn't know what he's going to do. Uh, he dresses up as a Tuscan Raider, he and his uh, daughter and son, and they've been doing fake raids on farms to get them scared, to get them to donate, so they can go out and just slaughter Tuscans who were not involved in the raids. You find that later on that none of these Tuscans have been in any of the raids. Sure, they went into the town, they tried to destroy the signal, but that's because they thought, hey, they're just trying to eliminate us from the face of the planet. We need to defend ourselves, what the Tuscans were doing. Again, there's a little bit of mystery involved there that's unraveled at the end, which is excellent. Um, Annie's a great character. She's fun. She's got a lot of great jokes. Obi-Wan is the stranger who rumbles into town. No one knows about him. He's the mystery man. Everyone knows more about Everyone wants to know more about him. He just wants to be left alone and get supplies. Every once in a while, he's doing it says meditation. He's talking to Qui Gon Jinn, even though he hasn't spoken to him yet. Qui Gon hasn't responded yet, I should say. He keeps talking to him. Um, and when uh, I think it's Kaylee, uh, Annie's daughter, when she kind of spies on Obi Wan, she sees him talking to himself, and that's how he gets the name Crazy Old Ben. You know, which kind of stuck with him over the years. I said this when I first reviewed it. I remember the scene where Annie tells him, hey, don't look directly at the sun. It'll age you over time. So keep that hood on. Keep out of the shade. You know, too much sun there will age your face and everything. And when she goes away, she sees Obi-Wan take off his you know, hood and look straight at the sun. She's like, what is that dude doing? He's crazy. He's trying to change his appearance. And of course, they're trying to explain huh, how Ewan McGregor turned into Sir Alec Guinness in only 20 years. Uh, which is fine. That makes sense because people out in the sun in the desert do age prematurely. Um, so many great things about this. Like I said, it, it, it's it's a great front. You know, out in the frontier, the great frontier, the Jutland waste, and life is hard and everything. And you're trying to farm or trying to scra scrape what you can, but Tuscan Raiders are trying to take it all. And it just has a great feel. There's some great characters in it. All the characters are really good. This is John Jackson Miller's masterpiece. Now, I've made fun of him on previous books before. I'm not going to say anything bad about this one. I think Kenobi, I think I had this in my top 20 at one time. It's too bad there's so many good, 
EU books because this could easily be a top 10. Easily be a top 10. A lot of people do put it in their top 10, and I don't blame them. It is a fantastic book. John Jackson Miller's best. His best novel ever. I can't say his best work because between this and Nazi Republic, ooh, it's hard. Maybe if you, if you put my feet to the fire, I'd say Kenobi. But, oh man, from, from, from start to finish, it was such a smooth read. What I mean is, it wasn't boring. The pacing was there. You're interested in every scene. There's chapters that happen, and there's no Obi-Wan. But you don't care because you're engaged in the storyline. How can someone like this write excellent characters and then write Kara Holt? I don't know. Maybe he just didn't have his coffee that day. But Kenobi, whoo, five stars. Great book. So much fun to read a second time. All right, let's see. What's next? Oh, no.